Hi, I'm Steve from Kentic. Maybe you've heard about a recent story of a mysterious new entity announcing a lot of formerly unused Department of Defense address space, and maybe you thought what this might mean for you. Well, if your corporate network ever used this address space for internal numbering, there is a risk you could be leaking it out to a party that's actively collecting it. Using Kentix Data Explorer, you could quickly and easily pull up the stats of how much data you're leaking to this new entity, which is using AS8003. The quickest way to determine if we are sending any traffic to AS8003 is to use the Kentix Search feature. In the upper right hand corner of the screen we have the search icon. We simply click on that and type in 8003, which gives us all the results for autonomous system number 8003. Here we can see we do have some traffic. It's pretty minimal, less than a bit per second, but we can see there's been a recent spike in traffic. We can use the Kente Quick Views below to see details on the specifics of the traffic. In this case, the IP address, the device that is receiving the traffic, the device and the interface that's receiving the traffic, autonomous system numbers, and protocol. These can be configured in the Customize menu. Another way to look at this data is by utilizing the Kentic Data Explorer. If we navigate back to the main screen, under Operate, we see Data Explorer. This allows us to build a custom query. First, we want to choose our group by dimensions. In this case, we can do something like source address, destination address, maybe protocol and destination autonomous system number. By default, this looks at all of our traffic, so we need to narrow this down to something more specific, so we'll utilize our filtering capability. So in this case, we want to choose maybe a destination autonomous system number 8003. So as we type that in, we can automatically name match, in this case, GRS DOD, and then we'll save our query, which will automatically execute. We can see the results of the traffic, and here is the source address, the internal source address, uh, the destination address, which is part of AS8003, as we can see here in the destination AS number column, and it's protocol ICMP. If we want to add additional fields, we can go back and change the dimensions, uh, maybe add in something like port number or any other number of dimensions that we have available to us. But also, you can also change the filtering methodology. In this case, we're grouping by or filtering by AS number 8003. We may choose to look for addresses within those IP address ranges. So in this case, we'll look at one of the DOD blocks, which is 33 slash 8. So we can change our filter to destination IP CIDR 33 slash 8. And we save that and we get similar results. And we can see the same results as before, just a different filter, filtering methodology. Source address, destination address, protocol, uh, autonomous system number, and so forth. And as a convenience for Kenta customers, we've created a set of global filters that uh, filter all of the blocks that are being announced by AS8003. So here we can bring up our filter, delete the existing filter, and we'll add a save filter. And now you can see as part of our filter list, we have DOD address destination and DOD address source. So in this case, it'll be all the blocks that are being announced by AS8003 at the unused DOD address space. So we can add that filter, hit save, and see the results. In this case, it should be exactly the same since the one address we have on the network is going to something in 33 slash 8. And if customers wish to monitor this traffic on an ongoing basis, you can utilize Kentix Insights and Alerting, where you can create a custom insight to monitor that traffic on an ongoing basis. If you have any other questions, please visit us at www.kentic.com.